All right, hello, good morning, and welcome to Plant Based Homestead Prepper, where we make prepping fun. Um, I must admit, guys, over the weekend, things got a little more serious for us here in the United States, with not only our first death being reported of the coronavirus or the COVID 19, but we also had two, our first two deaths uh, of of the, the coronavirus here in the United States. So, we're already experiencing panic buying in Washington, in Pennsylvania. We had our first case reported in New York, in the state of New York. So, um, the thing I can tell you guys is expect more. You can truly expect more. Um, I don't believe in the beginning when, when, when we first found out about this thing, well, when we first found out about it, they, the, the government probably knew two or three weeks before we did, as as the you know as the citizens. But when I say we in this case, I mean the powers that be. I don't think the powers that be in the United States took the proper precautions. And, you know, a lot of people have theories about that. You know, some people saying that it's population control. Some people saying that the CDC started it. Uh, some people saying that you know they're doing it on purpose. Whatever the case, whichever one may be true, you know, it could be just an accidental virus that mutated and got out in the public. Who knows? Who knows? We're, we would never know the truth, okay? We would never know the truth. And that's why I tell you guys all the time that I only believe, I don't believe anything I see or hear. I decipher everything. I read between the lines and I use good old common as my granddaddy say horse sense. Sorry about the, I broke my, my, my hold of the other day. I don't know what happened, but. I'm going to have to get me another one, but you guys just got to deal with the angles for now. Maybe it's cool. I don't know. And yes, we have terrible roads here in Virginia. So, what can you do? I was watching a documentary a while ago on um, the coronavirus and what was going on in China, in, you know, in the affected provinces. And it's amazing how you can take all those people, all those hundreds of thousands, of millions of people, and it's like literally nobody on the streets. Everybody is hunkering down. Everybody's in their home. Um, it's amazing to me though, because the grocery stores are still open, and the grocery stores, of course, you know, of course, they're gonna they're gonna show you what they want you to see. But the grocery stores was full of um, full of produce, full of goods and you know, services and everything. Um, it's just that they're not allowing people to leave and go out, but two or three times a week so um, <clears throat> yeah it's uh, it's very serious in, in, in China and um, it's going to get more serious here in the United States especially for people who are not prepping uh, because then it's going to cause mass uh, why is he driving so fast it's going to cause mass panic so um, make sure make sure make sure if you don't have everything you need Stock up on essentials, you know, non-perishable foods, plenty of water. When I say plenty of water, um, God, you, you, I would say bare minimum, you need to have at least 7, 10, 15 days of water, you know, store. I'm talking about store it up just in case they shut the water off. And this is this is not just for the virus. This is just for, for prepping, period, okay? So, um cleaning supplies, disinfectants, sanitation, trash bags, big huge contract trash bag, black trash bags so you can cover your windows for operation security because <clears throat> you don't want your neighbors to know that you have light, you don't want your neighbors to know that you have goods and services, you want to hunker down, be, you know, be gray man, blend in, don't, don't let anybody know that, you know, you're even there if you're hunkering, you know, hankering down and hunkering in or whatever. Um, <laughs> They're killing me with this don't wear mask stuff. But um hey, it is what it is, folks. You can expect more deaths coming, you can expect more infected coming. The numbers will rise. The market, you should see a pop today, but don't be surprised is close at, at, at after lunch, you start seeing the tank again and drop. Uh don't be surprised at that. Please don't be surprised. So uh we'll see. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I got to run, and I will catch you guys later. Take care. All right, guys, listen. I'm uh, I'm out doing some shopping, okay? 
and just wanted to show you guys what I was picking up. All right, just so I'm gonna spin the camera around. I got some all gratin potatoes, got some avocados, got some of these stews. These are amazing. They're like, um, it's called German bean stew and they have German vegetable stew or soup or whatever rather. And yeah, it's a huge can. How many ounces? I don't know, I just picked them up. Give us some variety. It's about 500 calories per can. Uh, also getting some more sweet peas, some beans, some mac and cheese, and I'm over here looking at some more little comfort foods too, because um, those are things you're gonna need. Trust and believe, okay? You can't live by just vegetables alone. You could, but it gets boring. All right, I'm gonna pick up some mixed vegetables today too, because I don't have any, and this would be a great little, let's see, this can look old. How many calories in here? It's three calories per can, 35 calories per serving. So, what's that? 100 and, I don't know, 120, 130 calories. I saw some canned potatoes too, I was thinking about getting. I know I got some, not the time before, but the time before that. Corn is always good. And, and here at all is it's real cheap, okay? 38 cents a can, you get a whole case of it for like what? Uh, that's 12 times 38, whatever that is, about four bucks. So I come in here and got, get them by the cases. Uh, probably gonna end up getting us some. Yeah, I like I like the peaches in the heavy syrup. So um, that's ninety five bucks a can, uh, ninety five cents a can. I'll say it bucks, ninety five cents a can. So those are probably some things I'll pick up as well. Uh, yams are always good. And then I'll probably pick up some more comfort foods. Make sure you get plenty of peanut butter. You can't go wrong with peanut butter. You cannot, okay? Matter of fact, I'm gonna pick up another little jar or two, even though we have lots. Um, and if your peanut butter ever gets to the point where it gets hard or brittle, just throw some, uh, throw some oil in it, okay? Stir it up and you'll be good, all right? Okie dokie, I will catch you guys. Well, let's look at some prices while we're in here, okay? to be crazy. I'm looking at you crazy. What are you doing, lady? Alright, so let's see what prices are. Uh, salmon is $6.99. Uh, thin chops, $2.49. Uh, chicken, let's see here. 99 cents a pound for thighs. Leg quarters, 89 cents a pound. Bacon, $2.89 for cheap bacon. See what eggs cost. That's something Jennifer likes to cook for. I'm about to say for the kids, for the for her children, her kids. Thirty nine cents a dozen. Okay. Dow Jones Industrial Averages finished today sharply down. The Dow has closed down every day this week thus far, largely due to concerns about the global spread of the coronavirus. Now, we're continuing to follow the spread of the coronavirus right here in the United States. And the U.S. has confirmed 60 total cases, none in Virginia so far. But health officials are investigating a possible case in northern Virginia and another in southwestern part of the state. And as these numbers rise, news to reporter Kofo Wasaki takes a closer look at how Sentara Norfolk General Hospital is preparing to battle the deadly disease. First up to fighting coronavirus is identifying it. Patients that have presented internationally have developed fever uh, as well as cough and shortness of breath. Those are the most common signs, similar to the cold, which makes it tough to pinpoint. We have a number of negative pressure rooms in all of our facilities. Like this one right here, it would make sure that none of that contaminated air would get out to the rest of the hospital that could make anyone else sick. Before interacting with the patient, staff members put on a gown that keeps their skin and clothing from being contaminated by droplets. Then they cover their face with a mask specifically fitted for them so they don't inhale any droplets in the air. Next comes the protective eyewear and lastly, gloves that will keep their hands clean while interacting with the patients. The mortality rate, at least right now for the coronavirus, is around 2%. So most people are uh, going to have a very mild infection or may not have symptoms at all. More deadly than coronavirus is the flu, killing around 800 people in the state this season alone. Experts say a key step in protecting yourself from either virus is as simple as washing your hands and doing it often. In Norfolk, Kofo Lasaki, News 3.
purchased or being reported, but you may have a little trouble finding them in stores. Is it worth going through all the hassle to get one? We'll explain coming up. John Matteris looks at whether you should try to buy some so you don't waste your money. that no one in your neighborhood is carrying the coronavirus. But despite that, worried Americans are stocking up on face masks, causing stores to run out. These are the kind of, uh, it's a surgical mask. Amy Hart shows the last two N95 face masks she has in her drugstore. We can't get them anymore. They're out of stock at the warehouse. Customers like Donna Bruce wonder if it's worth having a few after she recently saw dozens of fellow travelers wearing them flying. Um, in the airport, um, you generally see more people with masks on. Doctors and pharmacists say while a face mask can help prevent you from spreading germs, they say they really don't do much to prevent you from catching viruses because the main way we pick up germs is not through the air but it's from touching contaminated surfaces. Any kind of virus is mostly from hand-to-eye contact, hand-to-mouth contact. So the best thing you can do is wash your hands. But despite that, people are snapping masks up. We found shelves cleared of masks at this Home Depot store. The nearby Lowe's had just a few sanding masks left. We get tons of calls every day. At another family-owned drugstore, Troy Stinson says it's waiting list only. <laughs> for people who are sick um, or immunocompromised. Which leaves Amy Hart issuing a plea. Uh, I would hope that people aren't just hoarding them because that's not going to do anybody any good. The bottom line, no harm in having a few face masks on hand just in case, but please don't hoard them. Help others and so you don't waste your money. I'm John Batteries, News 3. That she was in uh, her community uh, and that she then did begin accessing care. The female patient is in isolation at UC Davis Medical Center in Sacramento and health officials are trying to trace her contacts. Step by step, we look at where they've had, where they've been, and who they might have been in direct communication with. This is the 15th case to originate in the U.S. The other 14 cases involved either people who traveled to China or who had close contact with an infected patient. Like Thursday, Vice President Pence met with his coronavirus task force. He named Dr. Debbie Bricks as the White House response coordinator. The president has no higher priority than the health and safety of the American people. Congress is working on a bill to fund the federal emergency response to coronavirus, and both Republicans and Democrats say now is not the time to play politics. We're coming close to a bipartisan agreement, and the Congress says how we can go forward with a number that is a good start. Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy is pointing a finger at the Chinese government. If China would have allowed our doctors and our scientists in earlier, the world would be safer. Congress is set to receive a fourth briefing on the coronavirus from the Trump administration on Friday. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill.